Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Gameplay and Review. Now, since I've been doing unlicensed games for this month on Gameplay and Review, I decided to make this an entire unlicensed game month. Now, this is going to be mostly NES games because those are the games that were mostly unlicensed. There are some Sega Genesis games that were unlicensed, but they were more in better quality. And certain unlicensed games for the NES wasn't always in good quality. So as a result, I'm going to do mostly NES games, even though you saw me do Action 52 for the Sega Genesis. Now, this game, of course, I'm going to go with a Color Dreams game. Of course, I reviewed Ray 2020 back in January. And this is another Color Dreams game. Since I already did a Satchin game, I did a Color Dreams game back in January. And of course, I did Action 52 for the Sega Genesis. Now, I'm going to do another, and I said it, another Color Dreams game. This is The Adventures of Captain Comic. And I have no idea what this is going to look like. I've not seen screenshots for the game. I don't know how the game's going to be. The question is, though, will the game on the screen, because I have it run on the screen right now, will The Adventures of Captain Comic be better than Raid 2020? Or will it suck just as much as Raid 2020? Or even worse, like the last game that I played. Of course, I had a disastrous time playing Auto Uptune. Or, I, call, I called it up... I think I called it Auto Uptune. It's actually Auto Upturn. And I do apologize for that. But, I do want to point out that the way... Uh, it, it ended up being a multi-part review. And I... Well, you'll have to see it for yourself. I'm not going to spoil it. You, you, you're you going to have to watch it for yourself. But I do want to be advised that it won't be available for children. So, if you were over the age of 18, you'll be able to see the actual game. Because I don't recommend that particular game to kids. Now, this particular game, however... I'm not going to put any restrictions. This will definitely be viewed by everybody. And I'm going to see if this game's any good. The only way I'm going to find out is if I actually play it. So, without further ado, I'm going to play The Adventures of Captain Comic. And hopefully it will be good. It might not be, though. Alright, so enjoy the gameplay. And I will have the review at the end. Okay, and by the way, if you don't know about the different ratings I do, when I do my final verdict, I usually either give it a green, yellow, or red card. Red card usually means I don't recommend it, while green cards I usually highly recommend it. And yellow cards is in the middle. So, that's all I really want to explain about that. Alright everybody, enjoy the gameplay and review. Okay, it's time to play. Well, this time, no funny title screen for Color Dreams. Yeah, I decided to turn this into a unlicensed game month. Even though know, I did a little bit of the uh, street, uh, the, I did a uh, Street Fighter arcade cabinet review, and I did a one credit challenge. But for gameplay and review, I'm licensed games this month. Alright. You can't shoot. You can't even shoot. Can't 
computer or anything. I Last inventory and you got treasures. Okay. So you start off with nothing. Am I supposed to stop or anything like that? Now I can attack, okay. So I can't duck and shoot ground enemies, that's crap. Dang it. Come on! Well, at least I can start off, that's good. I do hate that you start off with nothing and you have to get a weapon in order to use it. Wait a minute. I wonder what the F's for. I don't know. Oh, damn yeah, that, that's probably a refill. Or firepower maybe? I don't know. Hmm. Well, I got to be careful. And you can drop off really quickly. So that's a problem. Well, that's that's a cool weapon. How long do you get to use it? That's the question. It's probably limited. Fire. This is cool, though. I will say that I do like that. I do like that weapon. How long can I use it as a question? I knew it wasn't going to be for long. So it, it, I hate when... That's another problem. Enemies attack you when uh, they, they zoom right in on you. It just depends on the enemy itself. Those bluebirds, especially. I don't like the graphics at all. I think they suck. Just, I do like I did like that one weapon. Can't use it anymore. Can't shoot ground enemies unless you have that one thing. Is that oh I gotta get the key? And then go in here. Then what am I supposed to do? Is that it? Hold on a minute. Is that work me? I can, so I can work. Oh, so you go from place to place. Now this part, now this part looks, oh yeah, I like this. I like this weapon, yes. The question is, how am I supposed to jump? Uh, I don't even know what to do. I'm obviously I have to go all the way back. Yeah, I have to get that one thing again, which sucks. I gotta avoid enemies. jump on enemies, you have to get a weapon in order to use it. Sucks. Now I got the weapon back. Problem is, I'm not... Except for that one part with that one, the 
one part I was in before I died. The rest of the graphics suck. I do not like the graphics at all. Last game I played, graphics worked too bad. Here, maybe in spots it's fine, but see, they go right, see they go right after you. You're allowed no space whatsoever. Similar to Wizards and Warriors, where uh, enemies home in on you. Captain Comic is just like that. See? That red was homing in on me. See? Yeah, I wish it... I don't even like the music. I think the music sucks, too. Yeah, I don't like the graphics. I, I think they suck. So far, I don't really care for the gameplay either. I do like this gun, but that's the only good thing about this so far. Ray 2020 was at least, at least better. You start off with no weapons until you collect it. an awesome weapon that you get. I want to go in here. Well, that's cool. Oh. Oh, okay, that that's not too bad. I think once you get past, I will... I hate these enemies, though. They home in on you. Enemies should not home in on you. I think they took a page right out of Wizards and Warriors. I'll be quite honest. It's a refill. Oh, okay. So the shield is a refill of your life. Problem is, though, these suckers like to take away your life. I probably have to go back. Yes. Dang, man. I like that weapon. Don't have to wait. So that's your bar that goes down to nothing. You have to... Dang, damn it. At least it, at least it has checkpoints. That's good. That I will say I do like. Okay, so that's the far I can go. See, I don't know what to do, that's the problem. Whoa. I, oh, I can jump high, that's cool. Oh, I got the weapon again. not invincible, but you at least keep it for a limited time. It's good. I like this weapon. Only have a weapon I really like. Shoot 
faster, that's cool. Yeah, you get a refill. That's all that it is. I will say it's not one of the worst games I've played, thank god. I'm finding some things to enjoy about it, but I don't like it. But I don't consider it a full disaster though. I just wish enemies weren't homing in on me. The Wizards and Warriors was much more forgiving. It at least allowed you. I think I got another life. Wizard of Wars at least allowed you unlimited continues. I think you only get. I think this doesn't have any continues at all. that you died on, or close to it. Hey, no! I'm done. Probably back to the beginning. See, at least it offers some what of a challenge. The only thing that sucks, though, you have, you have no continues. There's no continues whatsoever. You go from place to place and you got these suckers to get a weapon. So that's the first big problem with this game. You're most likely going to give it a red card. I think Ray 2020 is a little better than that. This has a little, at least better graphics, but it is not perfect. Yeah, see, now they're homing in on me, and that sucks. See, I don't like them holding, homing in on me. Was this in Wars? It was just like that. Even the sequel, I think, was like, like that, too. Oh, fucking A. First time I said the F one in this particular review. Grab that. I like that weapon. I wish there was continues. I really wish. There isn't, and it sucks.
Oh yeah. See, I like this weapon. I wish I could keep it. And I can't. You lose the weapon if you go to another. And yeah. Okay, so I never. So this must be where a boss is or something. And you have sucker. I hate platforming. At least in this game. Trapped. I thought this was going to take me to a boss, but no. Nope. Take, takes me to a dead end! Come on! I platform and I get nowhere. Son of a bitch. Back here again? Oh, come on! I didn't want to go back here. I wanted to start all over again. No, I'm going to start all over. This is ridiculous. The reason why I'm going to possibly give this a red card is because there's no continues. The graphics could have been a lot better. They're fine in some areas. I wish there was unlimited continues. There isn't. It plays like Wizards and Warriors at times, especially with Kind of. Enemies home in on you and don't let you breathe. You can't shoot ground enemies without that one weapon, which only lasts for a limited time. I'm sorry guys, I'm not just not enjoying this. I, I wish it was better. Certain aspects I like of this game, but I don't I don't put it as one of the worst games I've played. I find I'm finding some things about it that are positives. I just really wish that the difficulty was far more forgiving and it's not. Get a game over, you're screwed. You're, you have to go all the way back to the beginning. It's ridiculous. Then you lose everything that you had in that period. Oh, and you have a bar for your gun. It goes all the way down. You have to wait to recharge it. It means you're screwed. that matter either way because I lose it. Well, I was going to lose that anyway. Yeah, this is going to be, unlike the last two uh, games that I've played, this, this is going to be easy for me. I won't need a second part to do my review unlike the last two games that I've played. Uh, this could have been a lot of fun, it really could have. It had a lot of promise. Unfortunately, it's just another crappy color dream game. But not one of the worst, thank God. It's playable. 
controls are fine. I haven't had any problems with the controls. I wish the character doesn't drop like crazy to a pretty weird for a game. See, you can't really use your gun efficiently. See? I think I'm done, guys. I'm giving it a red card. I'm really sorry. I didn't like it as much as I could have. Alright. I'm going to shut that off. I've already made my decision, guys. I'm giving it a red card. Man, oh man. I had something. I will say that the graphics aren't too bad in areas. Um... Uh, I didn't like the music that much, even though there were different types of music. Um, controls were fine. I think the controls were fine. I didn't have any complaints with the controls. They are efficient. I just wish the gun that you grab. I wish you would. I wish you would get that right at the beginning of the game. But no, you have to collect it in order to use it. You're basically too weak and you you have nothing when you start the game that kind of sucks and the biggest problem there's no continues oh and the enemies home in on you at times just like with wizards and warriors and i think even the i think even iron sword had the same problem so what does that tell you so i'm giving this a red card and uh that's it. That's been my review, guys, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Alright, everybody. Peace out, and I'll catch you next time for another gameplay review.